Hi everyone, uh, it's me, Pacific Cash Gamer, and welcome back to another YouTube video. And today I want to tell you guys what it's like playing with a noob in Civilization VI. Now this is a complete noob, it's my friend Austin. Uh, he doesn't play strategy games. The only strategy game he plays is Stellaris. And I tell, tell you guys, it is an experience playing with a noob. Now it's a little bit different, because uh, when my sister first got into Civilization, it was back in Civ V, and it was kind of, if it was like I'm helping her rather than playing the same game as her, it's a different experience because it's like, um, she's like, how do you play? And then you're, you know, right there with them. And you're like, hey, if everyone's being nice to you and everyone's asking you to give them gold, uh, you're probably just weak and you, you're sucking, you know. So that's how I tell her. And but with Austin, it's a little bit different because I'm busy focusing on my own things. And in our game... It's a true start location Earth, and six of the eight people spawned in Europe, and then there's Egypt, right? So there's five of us in Europe, one in Egypt, then there's Austin all the way as China, and then someone's in the Americas, but no one's discovered the Americas yet from our continent, so we don't know who it is. And I'm like sitting there, right? And I'm Poland, right? So I'm in the middle, and it's on Prince difficulty, and I play the game on Deity, so of course me being an experienced player it's not that hard to beat the prince level ai at everything so i conquer all of europe i look at austin right after uh, i get to musketmen that kind of the renaissance era almost dust almost industrial era actually and he, he's at like three cities he's at catapults and he just took over a city state and all the land around him isn't settled and I'm just like, oh my god, this guy's got a long way to learn. And it's different playing with him. Because um, if I don't keep track of him and help him, then I it, it almost puts me at a disadvantage, right? It puts him at a disadvantage, too, because he doesn't know what he's doing. If someone decides to go to war with him, he's going to get beat. If someone decides to go to war with us, I have a partner who is at a disadvantage you know so it's kind of it's an interesting experience now he comes from Stellaris so there's a couple things that I noticed he did that I was like oh, okay uh, one was he thought he could only build new cities inside of his own borders because that's how S Stellaris it doesn't really work that way but that's kind of how the game plays out right and it makes sense if you play Civilization 6 I could totally see where you would think oh you know because you don't uh, your builder can only improve tiles inside your land, so you I would make perfect sense to me, actually, that you could only settle land inside of your own land. And that makes sense because an empire doesn't just, you know, an ancient empire doesn't just say like, hey, we're going to send a city half the way across the world and down in Antarctica, and we're going to settle it. Now, you know, England and everyone else sent colonies across the way, so you know, that part didn't come to Austin. And there's a couple other things like, he doesn't really know about the districts, but he's smart enough to see that, oh, uh, if for some reason he puts down a commercial hub next to a river, he sees a... He doesn't necessarily know that a river gives you plus two gold, but he sees, oh, plus two gold, you know, he put that stuff together really fast. He put stuff together like gold and costs and science and culture. He put all that stuff together just like that. So there's some interesting things just watching him as a noob to Civ. Not a noob to gaming, not a noob to strategy games, but a noob to Civ. What he does. It's very fascinating to me to see what he does, right? Like, okay, he unlocked Catapults. He's played Civilization Revolution, by the way, a couple times. And for him, his unit in that game that he was really good at was Catapults build catapult armies. That was Austin's thing that he did. So in this game, he built catapults, and he even took a city with catapults, and then ran a heavy chariot in. So, you know, it's it, he's still watching him draw from other games and putting it together is very cool. Uh, so there's a part of me that definitely gets frustrated, because I'm like, god dang it, Austin, you know, why aren't you at five cities? Why aren't you at seven cities, you know? Why don't you have this, 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 you know? And then there's a part of me that's like, Austin's a noob. You did this exact same thing. Like, 
at least when Austin was a noob at Civ, he knew how to build a city. When I was a noob at Civ, I didn't even know how to build a city. That shows you uh, the differences of our gaming skills when we started playing Civilization. Granted, I was playing Civilization 2, and that game sucks at telling you how to do it. But still, that's no excuse. There's a tutorial in that game. I could have set it up. So, yeah, that's... Generally, it's a frustrating and also really cool... If you like psychology... I don't like psychology, but I like human behavior. And I like watching how Austin pieces different things together and how he learns. Uh, I'm weird like that. Kind of like how uh, I like... I also really, really like seeing AI in games. AI is fascinating to me. And so it's interesting to see the AI play versus Austin versus how Austin plays in other games. You know, And in, in Stellaris... There was a couple things that he never learned, just because he ignored them. And in this game, in Civ VI, he's really trying to learn everything. He knows that if he misses one system, he's going to potentially be at a very big disadvantage. Now, since I'm Poland and Austin's China, we don't really trade. The game just came out on Xbox, so I'm having problems figuring out buttons, right? Because on the PC, it's easy. But on the console, I'm like, okay, which button do I do to go to, uh, like, city states? I'm like, oh crap, I gotta tell Austin this. You know, so I'm making discoveries and, like, five seconds later telling Austin. You know, or, Austin, I sent you open borders, can you figure it out? And he didn't figure out the buttons, then he figured out the buttons, so then we had open borders. And then I could help him, because I had, like, a scout to attack some warriors for him. So, that was, that's been kind of interesting. I've been like, okay, okay, what would I do? What what am I doing that, that's helping? I'm like, okay, Austin needs this. Okay, Austin, push this button. Uh, push this button and look at this. Or there's one where um, I wanted to show Austin the settler lens, right? Because it's kind of hard as a new person to figure out how to, without a settler, figure out where you can and can't build cities, right? So I said, I was like, okay, what's going to help? Okay, settler lens. And then I was like, okay, fuck. Crap! How do I how do I how do I get the settler lens? And I found the settler lens, and I'm like Austin. Okay, push push this button LB LB. Uh, push the lens button. You see the settler button? He's like, yeah. Pushes it. I'm like, all that green you can build. That's all he said was the green. I forgot to tell him the gray. I'm like the red you can't build. And he goes, okay, got it. Then when he built a settler, he thought he could build in his territory. Then he remembered that settler button, and he's like, oh, I can't build there. Oh, that I know why. You know, I, that was one where I was like, okay, thank God, thank God, thank God he knows about building cities in the right spot, away from other cities. You know, you can't build them too close. I was like, oh, thank God. That was a, that was a moment of pride. I, I had a pretty, pretty big moment of pride uh, for myself and Austin. So that's been my experience with uh, Austin being a noob in Civilization VI and playing with him and experiencing it with him. And it's a little bit of a new game for me because it's on Xbox and I gotta figure out the controls. But, you know, this is just even first impressions of playing with a noob. I haven't played 100 hours with Austin, so I don't know uh, the evolution of how good he's gonna play in it after 100 hours, you know. So, yeah, it's an experience. We'll see how it ends up because this game I'm playing with Austin, I do wanna finish. I think after playing freaking Stellaris, dude, Stellaris. A game of Stellaris is like a marathon game of Civ VI, if you really play it to the end. So it's nice to have a game that we can play in like four to eight hours, or if we wanted to go longer, we could put it on marathon, you know. So, yeah, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to tell me in the comments below. Uh, it's Civ, baby. It's Civ VI, and this is what it's like playing with a noob. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you guys in the next one.